we're going to show how to do a vertical curve dimension. So we're going to right click on our drawing profile grid in the examples workspace here. And we're going to add a new component annotation. And we'll let's go ahead and take a look. We can see we got a parabola there at the beginning. We're going to focus on our crest. And so let's rename this to profile crest parabola dimension line. We'll save that. And I'm going to close the dialogues that do not affect this particular portion. So you can focus on what does. In our location, we want to switch this to parabolic crest only. You'll want to do your sag separately more than likely. Accept that. We're going to switch this over to place a dimension line and select an element template to control the symbology. And you'll see that we have a leader there by default, which is required. Then in our placement, we're going to make some adjustments there to set this to top side and give it an offset. So now you can see the dimension line starting to take place. I'm going to pull that down from the top of that line just a little bit so you can see how it dropped it down and then adjust our arrow sizes. Now we want to add the text. So we're going to repeat this process. So add new component annotation. Let's rename that one to Profile Crest Parabola Dimension Text. We're going to make our same selection for location. We're going to leave our annotation to text this time. We'll pick our element template again. to control symbology. We will not need a leader line for the text, obviously. So I'm going to collapse the dialogues we don't need for the text placement. I want to select our placement as angle value 0. And again, we'll adjust our offset value to top side and give this a setting to bring it above the line. Then we fill in our text dialog. Let's give this a prefix. And we'll pick our text style and our text favorite that we want to place. And our instance here, or this example, is going to be our curve length. So this is how we set up a dimension line for our vertical curve in Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. And you can follow the same process for a crest curve. I'm assuming you probably want to put that below the curve. And this should work well if you need to dimension from VPC to VPT.